I had a little email sent to me with a video attached. That's something that happens to me now all the time. People are sending me interesting things. And unfortunately, I can't always get to everything immediately or what have you. But this email with this link was slightly worrying. And I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's just a rumor and I know nothing about it, but it sounded important. And I thought I would share this with you. Now, the last thing I want to do is to put over any disinformation or put out any rumors or anything, but there are people who are possibly watching this who are far wiser than I am. So there is this notion that the countries around the world are about to sign over our sovereignty to the WHO, the World Health Authority, so that if there ever there was another pandemic, which could happen at any moment, and we've seen how quickly they can be devised, I mean, appear, and if that was to happen, there would be a global response that the World Health Authority would be able to dictate to all the nations what they must do. For example, a mandatory vaccine of dubious nature or a good nature. Who knows what would be in it? In other words, informed consent would probably go out of the window and a medical intervention could potentially be given, which of course is a very worrying thing. And as somebody who would like to be informed about any kind of medical uh, product that was going to be put into my sovereign body, uh, and I might want to disagree on that, uh, I might have a, an adverse response to that, as in not just an adverse effect to the actual medical intervention, but I might, I might physically make a decision to say I really don't want it. However, this treaty is uh, apparently enables a government to ensure that the the army or the police would ensure, uh, basically means that you would be pinned down, I suppose, and injected with whatever they wanted or made to swallow whatever they wanted to swallow. And if you didn't, uh, or if they couldn't do that, maybe you would be placed into, um, uh, into a camp of some description in which where dissenters would be placed, a prison. I suppose, because you're not following the diktat that's coming down. That's the rumour that I've heard, and it may not be true, or it may be true. I don't know. That's why in this video, I'm appealing to you. It's not so much an opinion, it's, it's a rumour. Now, is it possible, this is what I want to know, is it possible for anyone's sovereignty, my sovereignty is me, this is me, my own. I, I am the only person who uh, that I can pick up a pen and write my name or I can walk. No one else can do that for me. Only I can do it, which is what makes me a sovereign being, a living man, uh, a sovereign being. Nobody else. Uh, I mean, they may ask me or they may push me, but only I actually do that thing, which is why I become sovereign. I have my own ability. And so therefore, is it possible for a government or a nation to say, actually, we can sell everybody's sovereignty on a bit of paper? It becomes a treaty. And the problems with treaties is that treaties very rarely ever get undone, do they? So I don't quite know what the legal situation is, what the lawful situation is, and whether this is a true situation or not. But there was this rumour and I thought I've got to appeal to my audience because there's some very intelligent people out there who will know whether this is actually a, a thing or not a thing. So do leave your comments or get in touch with me by email. Apparently, we've only got seven days. So again, nobody's consulting the nation, which I feel as a sovereign being, I would like to be consulted. I don't think it's right that anybody in government uh, would make a decision to sell us out in that way, to make a medical response open to the uh, World Health Organization, who in themselves are not elected by any of us lot. So it does seem as if that is a, dict a, a dictatorial and tyrannical decision, in my opinion. Now, I'm hoping this is all a load of absolute rubbish, of course. But if it isn't, it's extremely worrying 
and what are we going to do about it? So if you know anything about this, if you are aware of it or can find out anything about it and can reassure me and my viewers and those people who this rumour is going around now, uh, that would be absolutely great. Because if it isn't nothing, let's just squash that and get back on with our lives and not worry. But if it is something, let's work out what our response will be. Because it doesn't seem any, it doesn't seem fair at all. It's not supposed to be fair, let's face it, if somebody like that is going to decide what we can do. But it means that anybody could just come up with a with a pandemic and go, oh, there's a pandemic. We want to inject you with something. And we don't know what's in it. And we don't know the response. And if it's anything like the last one we had, we know there was a lot of harm in that. And uh, people have had, we've had excess deaths and all sorts of people dropping down all of a sudden. So it's, it's a little bit worrying, but I'm hoping it's all a load of nonsense and I don't want to worry anybody or pass any misinformation as I say. So do let me know if you know. That would be great. Thank you.